All right, everybody, the brown paper is back, and that means that we are taking stuff apart. Yes, we are back at the bench, and we're having ourselves a having ourselves a giggle, taking stuff apart, see what's inside, and seeing what we can do with it. This is a laptop battery, or at least it was. Uh, this belonged to a laptop that I've been using for a few years now, and it was just simply not holding a charge. So you have these, uh, they are sealed units, not intended to be taken apart. In fact, they probably have one of those no user serviceable parts inside stickers on them. But huh, with a little persuasion, it did in fact come apart. And what did we find? Well, first of all, we found the brain board. And this handles all of the charging and discharging and voltage regulation and uh, power balancing to all of the cells that are inside. You can see that uh, until I ripped it apart, it had three of these flat cables here. And they went to these batteries. Now these are your bog standard 18650 lithium cells. Uh, very useful, completely ubiquitous. They are in absolutely everything. USB charging banks, laptop batteries, or laptop power supplies, uh, excuse me, laptop batteries, and all manner of electronics. That's what I'm trying to get at. So plastic shell, we don't need any more. Brain box, we're not going to take it apart. We're not interested. Uh, but what we are interested in are these. These are the 18650 cells, like I said, that were inside. And, you know, this was, for all intents and purposes, a dead battery. This is something that you would throw away, something that you would take to a recycling facility and have them properly dispose of it because it was just not serving your needs. You replaced it, you bought a new one. Now, these cells hold, I uh, believe, 3.7 volts. And if you probe it here, you can see that it would help if I had my meter set to the correct setting. <laughs> However, if you probe these cells, you can see they're sitting at a healthy four volts. In fact, all four of these cells over here are sitting at their proper voltage. These two on the left, however, actually no. These five on the right are holding voltage. They're fine. This one on the left is not. Just hooking up my meter to probe the voltage is enough to discharge this battery down. And uh, if you if we held it on for the entire time, we'd see 0.5 volts is about where it would discharge to. So one bad cell took out, and when I say bad, I mean bad. This is as dead as a battery can get but these five other cells are perfectly fine. So, what can you do with recovered lithium cells from a laptop battery? Well, in this case, I have a flashlight that I got for Christmas, and inside of it was a, uh, not sure what you would call it, but it took three AAA standard batteries, you put them together, you put them in series, and you uh, stuck it in. However, I don't have that because this uh, this flashlight is in fact designed to take an 18650 lithium cell and they even sell wall chargers like you would expect for uh, rechargeable you know, double AA, A triple A batteries they make wall chargers that will charge these 18650 cells so we have five perfectly good rechargeable batteries and a flashlight that is, yeah, incredibly bright. So these cells are definitely going to get used. Um, they did have, and I will show you, yeah, they were held together with these strips. They were in... Uh, three sets uh, or three pairs of paralleled cells 
And uh, they have these, which I believe are nickel. I believe these are nickel strips. And they were tack welded, spot welded, onto each end of the battery. And that's how it was all put together. And then, of course, taped and hot glued and hot snotted and all that kind of stuff. So there's a little bit of work involved. But you are saving stuff from going into the waste stream. This plastic, ABS plastic, I be- most jurisdictions, I believe you can recycle them. And everything else, you know, dispose of it properly. If you were to take a dead laptop battery, just like this one, and give it to one of those recycling services, my understanding is that they store them all together and then put them in a big container, ship them off to some foreign country with cheap labor, and they do exactly what I've done right here. They take them apart. They pull out the cells, they test them, and if the cells are good, they resell them. So this battery would have gone overseas, would have been torn apart, cells would have ended up on eBay, I would have gone on eBay, bought them, and they would have been shipped right back to me as pre-owned, used, possibly not even declared as such, 18650 lithium batteries. So all of that, I've cut out the middleman, got good batteries from what was ostensibly a dead unit. So this is, that's it. That's, you know, a nice, quick, easy video. I think I'm going to do a lot more of these just so that I can have something to do, put on the channel. Yeah, that sounds fun. Um, The bigger, bigger videos, those are going to be few and far between. They are just too much to shoot and edit and upload and maintain. And listen, I have a day job. YouTube isn't my career. I I have stuff that I do for actual money. So I think these videos are going to be a lot more frequent, put it that way. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. You know, maybe you'll take some stuff apart yourself, see what's inside. If you did, awesome. I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like, share this video around, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And again, thank you very much.